welcome back to my channel. It's Simply Jessica here today with two super cute DIYs. And I'm going to just try something out today, okay? So, as we know, trial and error, we're gonna see what happens, right? So I'm going to make this super cute snowman. I wanna keep things today like more of, um, I don't know if I wanna say rustic, but maybe rustic, natural wood kind of flow going on, all right? So first things first, these wood pieces I picked up from the Dollar Tree. We're going to remove the rope from it. So this is this really cool wood slice here. This is going to be the base of our project. And then two of these wood slices here. One's a little bit smaller than the other, and that's what we're going to be using to go straight on top of each other. I have some things in mind, possibly using these craft sticks here from the Dollar Tree, maybe some support in the back to kind of keep it together a little bit better. And that's that part so far. So first things first, let's remove the strings from our wood slices. You want to do that? Okay, so all of the little strings are off. That was actually quite easy. They pretty much just pulled right out. So this is going to be, the bigger piece will be your body and the top piece here will be your face. So as you guys know, my drawing skills, but we gotta make a face, right? So we're just gonna get our black out here, a little bit of white and orange for the nose and we're gonna make us a cute little face don't need a lot here and that's that let me grab some paint brushes here and we're just gonna make a cute little face here okay so there is my little snowman face again gotta keep practicing right Practice, practice, practice makes perfect. I'm doing my best. That's all I could do, right? So let me grab something. All right. Now, just gonna set him to the side. Here's your base. How do I want this to go? I think just, so pointing it at you, it'll be like this. And you're gonna take your base. We're gonna go with this side. And we're going to just hot glue it down in the center. I'm going to also add some fix all adhesive and we're going to stick that down in the middle but I'm also going to use some hot glue here and we're going to glue down the body of our snowman. So just hang tight onto that. that really on there and this is gonna be so quick too guys <laughs> this is you know how I love to do the DIYs quick and easy and beautiful and we're going to do the same for our snowman head we are almost out of camera there we go so a little bit of fix all get it in there and a little bit of hot glue. And we're going to take our head and get it on there. Now this is the part that I was referring to. Oh, look at, see, that's why I can't do this facing the wrong way. Um, as far as getting or gaining any more type of stability to kind of hold this together. This is where this little I want to say popsicle stick may come in handy for the back here, but we're just going to let that cool. Okay, la -di -da. it's on. Now, let me turn this around and show you what I just did quick. Took one of those popsicle sticks here, attached it to the back, gave it a lot more stability, and just took a little Jenga block and glued it down to the back of this. Kind of just, like I said, gives it a little bit more stability here okay and then the next thing we are going to work on is his gorgeous little hat 
All right, coming up with the hat now. This pile of little wooden blocks, these did come from, oh boy, Michael's. These came from Michael's. They were $6 for these wooden discs. Now, my daughter actually bought these. She's using these for something else, but I am borrowing one. <laughs> That's all. So that is where those came from. And then I got this super cute bundle, <coughs> excuse me, from Hobby Lobby. They were $3.99, but 50% off. Okay. So that is where those came from. Everything else is Dollar Tree. And this is where we're going to create his gorgeous little hat. Okay? We're going to take our thinner piece and we're going to go on just like this. The same thing. A little bit of fix-all adhesive and a little bit of hot glue. Then we're going to take one of the other rounds and go on top there. And look how stinking cute, right? I just have to turn him around so I can see where this is going. So you just want to kind of move it around, see where you like it the best. Then again, just a little fix-all adhesive. Except for sometimes that likes to come out a lot. And a little hot glue. And then on, I just like kind of want it to the side a little bit. I don't want it straight up and down. And on we go. And just hang tight. Let that glue work. See? And then you're going to do the same thing with the top. And we're just going to fix all adhesive and hot glue. We're going to go in our center, and down we go. And look how stinking cute this guy is. Obsessed, right? And this is where you get to have some fun and just add some decorations to it. Or little things to him. Make him adorable. Make him your own. However it is you want to Decorate them, right? That's what I'm thinking. So, I'm going to start with, just think possibly a little bit of this greenery here. And I'm going to use it in the center and then on the top of his hat as well. So we're just gonna pull that off of there. And I don't wanna overdo it, but I also don't wanna underdo it. <laughs> I just need to turn it face to me. I don't want to do too, too much, but then again, why not all at the same time? Let me pop this sucker off of here. This pick came from Walmart. It's one of the 98 cent ones. That might be too much. I don't know. I'm trying here. But then again, like, is there a thing is too much? <laughs> As we all know. All right, no, we're going to do it. So some hot glue there in the center of your snowman. Grab your thing and just glue that down. Because you know, sometimes a little is more than enough. And then sometimes I like to be a little extra. <laughs> Give that a second there. This hot glue seems to be taking a while to cool down tonight. Well, while I'm holding this one, I might as well get the other one on there. So some hot glue. And right down we go. And we're just going to hang on here because it will eventually cool. Look how stinking cute already. Okay, look how cute. And then I have these very tangled little bells from the Dollar Tree. And I just want to get two of these little silver ones out of here. So that is what I'm going to do. 
Okay, now that you have your two separated, I want to hang them from here. But just making one longer than the other. So I'm just going to throw some hot glue on here. You should probably put your finger protectors on. And stick that on there. And I'm going to touch that. I know it's hot. And then take your other one and just make it longer or shorter. I just need to look at them. I think I'm going to go just a little longer than the other one. Not by much. Just by a little. Just gonna cut off any extra string. Just like so. And then I just have this super cute foam snowflake that I want to put in the center there, and that's gonna hide all of that extra stuff here. Just need to turn. And that'll hide all of that extra little stuff there. And the other thing we're going to do is we're going to take another one of these little greenery pieces off of the hat and we're going to cut a little bit off of the hat. That's not even what I meant. Off of the pick. Just so we can get a little bit on our hat as well. Turn them around. Now these might need to be smaller, so we might need to do a little trimmy trim. I'm just going to throw some hot glue on there and then add our little greenery piece here. So we're just going to snip off two little pieces here from the bundle. Get our hot glue in there. I need more hot glue. <laughs> so we just need little bits of it. We're gonna add that little pine cone in there too. Hot glue and greenery. Let me spin this around so you can see what I'm doing. And then we're gonna cut off another little piece here and add it behind this one. Just so it's a little fuller. Ta-da! We're gonna pop off this pine cone right off of that pick. We're going to go right in the center with our hot glue and add our gorgeous little pine cone. Look at this already, obsessed. And then the last little step I think I'm gonna take with this is with my bag of pine cones wherever I put them. Let me find my little bag of pine cones. They were right in my face. Our little bag of pine cones here. And we're just going to add a couple. I just want to spin this guy around again. So let's find some good ones here. And I just want to add a couple, like to the bottom here. And probably a little, two on each side. It's probably what I'm going to go with. Maybe three on this side. We'll see. So just a little hot glue on your pine cone. Find where you want it to go and just add it. Now these can stand up a little bit. They can lay flat. I gotta find me a bigger one here. 
I am in love with this guy. I think he's super, super cute. And then I'm gonna just add two little ones next to it. Now you can also add a little white paint to them. Give it a little bit of snow. And I think that's all I'm gonna do. And I do think I'm just gonna grab my brush quick and add, since I still have the white paint down there, You don't need a lot. Get rid of some of the glue webs. And just add some white to that, to these little pine cones. Give it a little bit of snow effect. And how cute. I'm in love, 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 love with this guy. And this part's super easy. You just, just kind of go over it. The edges with it it's super easy to do I'm like in love with this guy he's so beautiful you guys know I love my snowmen so again just add a little bit of snow to your pine cones yes my paint's on the floor <laughs> I'm even gonna add just a little bit on the one up on his hat here just a little. You can even add some here if you'd like. These um, little pine cones on this pick kind of already have like a fake snow on it. But it doesn't hurt to add a little bit more. And look how absolutely gorgeous is this guy. Again, painting skills, we'll get there. Like I said, work, work, work. Just that easy, right? We just got to keep working at it. This is super easy to make. Absolutely love it. I will move it maybe so you can get a better view in a moment. We're gonna move on to super easy and gorgeous DIY number two. All right, this literally is only gonna take minutes. So you're gonna to want to grab some of these super cute from the Dollar Tree, 2.5 by 3.5 little frames. They're, I guess frames. They have a little clip there that just holds whatever it is you put in there. Has the little kickstand to hold. So again, with these, you're gonna get two white and one black one. And with these, again, I'm going with a more rustic look. So the actual bow here, we might wanna straighten it out a little bit, that has just kind of like, yeah, this guy's curling for some reason. We're gonna have to try to fix that but it has like the burlap bow. It is absolutely perfect for this DIY, so I'm not even going to change it. I am gonna to try to straighten it out, but that's about it. Yeah, maybe a little hot glue can stick that there, but that's what you're gonna get. Then you're gonna grab yourself some of these wooden snowflakes. Wow, I don't know why, was that coming to me? Little wooden snowflakes from the Dollar Tree and this one that says, let it snow. This comes in a pack, but they all say let it snow, but it does come in a pack. And you're gonna get yourself, oh, we're gonna pull this back up here, my mess. Cause I need, no, no. I need this just to put some brown paint on. What did I do with my brown paint? There it is. All right. So you just need to get some brown paint. All of my paint comes from Walmart. It is all apple barrel. This one is called brown oxide. Just need a little bit. We are going to take, I throw everything on the floor today. We're just gonna take a little baby wipe here. Maybe if I can get one to come out of the pack. Grab yourself a little baby wipe. I just want this to kind of look like it's stained. Get it in that brown paint and just go over it like so. 
just to give it a little stained look. And that's literally all I want to do with these. Just for a love, I'm like, love the farmhouse stuff now. It was never like big and huge on it from years growing up, but I think that it is super adorable now. I'm like in love with it. Again, take your baby wipe. Just go all around this. And this is so easy. And it doesn't need a ton of drying time because you're really just kind of going over it really lightly. And like, look at this, right? So it gives it an all natural wood looking stain. And we're gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna let some of that off of there with let it snow. And just rub it all around. I mean, per usual, I will make a mess out of it because that's what I do. <laughs> but we're just gonna go over it and give it that nice little stained look here. Right? Gorgeous. I see that I kind of broke off a little bit of the tea, but it's okay. And that is it. That is it. You're going to take your picture frame. Again, I think just a little hot glue under here because this bow sticking up like that is going to drive me, I think, crazy. I don't think that's going to matter either. <laughs> no, it's not. It does. So again, has a stained look. The burlap bow gives it the perfect amount of like rustic looking. And then you're just going to take this, you're going to put it in the middle here and right underneath. So you have let it snow and then you're going to take your snowflakes, turn them like this. I'll show you in a sec and get them on there like that just like that and they're super adorable I love them look how cute this is so you would just put it up as a set or you could do all white you could do all white like I said so we could pop this sucker right out of here if you want get the extra white one I have stick that in there so you can have all white ones and you have a gorgeous little set. Again, these look great on anything. You can put these on your tear trays. You can put these on your TV stand. You can put these in your doorways. Doorways? I don't know. <laughs> Any type of counter. But look how cute. And it's so simple and so easy to make, right? Absolutely love it. Again, I'm just going to turn this camera around. You can see these up close a little bit better. And I'll be right back. Okay guys, so here is that super easy, all wooden, absolutely gorgeous snowman. This little hat all the way down to the bottom. I'm obsessed. I absolutely am in love with this. And that's not just because I made it. I really, really do love this guy. He's super, super cute. I'm just going to push him to the side here and we're going to put up those little sides. And here are these super cute, super easy, let it snow signs. Again, the burlap ribbon, super adorable. I was thinking, you might actually even want to pop it off the back and maybe move it to the front. I personally don't think so, but I think that these are gorgeous. I'm just gonna replace that middle one with the black one and you see what you think. Okay, and there it is as a set with the black one in the middle. Again, I like it both ways. I think that it is super pretty. And you saw it took, what, three minutes to make? Because it's super easy and super cute. <laughs> but anyway, guys, that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. And until next time, bye now.